What's up everyone, how you doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome back my friends to the Minecraft Medieval Docks and Harbour. I sure hope you guys are having an awesome day. Now guys, I know this one is well overdue and we've been waiting probably way too long for the next episode on this. So I do apologise guys, but rest assured that we are back and I've got a whole bunch of ideas for this entire city and it's going to be really cool guys. I've still got a lot of houses and stuff to build, but I've got a bunch of other ideas as well to go into the city that's really going to build it up and just give it a whole new level of atmosphere so rest assured guys that there is plenty more coming from this series so with that being said guys i mean there's quite a few new houses that are already here and i don't really want to go over these too much i'm going to come straight over to the house that we are going to be building which is going to be this one over here now i was debated whether this was the right place to build this one but i think it fits in really nice here and i've got a bunch of more builds to be done here so this area is going to be built up much more and i think once we've got a few more builds in this is going to look like the perfect spot for it so as you can see guys this one's got a bit of a tower on it and i really like the kind of placement of it i think it looks really cool right on the edge of the cliff here we've got a little balcony around the back here with a window above and then down the side here, we've got another little balcony that overhangs. And um, yeah, I just think it just looks really nice. So we're going to go ahead and build this one, guys. This build is a relatively simple build and the resources are not too tough to gather up. So it should be pretty straightforward um, and it should be easy enough to follow along. Um, but with that being said, guys, we're going to dive straight in and take a look at what we're going to need to build it. Okay, for this build, you're going to need some oak logs. Some spruce planks, stairs, slabs, trapdoors, buttons, and fences. Some dark oak doors. Some stripped oak wood. Some glass panes of your choice. I'm going with the white stained glass panes. Then we're going to need some stone, stone bricks, and cobblestone blocks. Now, you don't need to use all of these if you don't want to. This is just to texturize the build. If you want, you could do it all out of stone bricks or cobblestone. It's entirely up to you. We're also going to need some cobblestone slabs, stairs and walls, some lanterns, some flower pots for decoration, and then just a few leaves, tall grass, flowers and tall flowers just to decorate the area. And that's pretty much it. So with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and build this. OK, guys, here is a side view of the floor plan. Now, the front of the build is going to be on the right hand side, right along that green stripe. And as you can see, the red blocks are one block. These are going to be the oak log pillars. The yellow blocks are three blocks. The blue blocks are five blocks. And the green blocks are seven blocks. So this should give you a bit of a better idea of how the floor plan is going to be. And with that being said, guys, let's go ahead and build this. Okay, guys, we're going to start at the very front of the build. So let's start by placing seven stone bricks in a row right across the front here. And then break the middle one place a stone brick in the center there that's going to be our doorway now let's grab our oak log and on the left hand side here we're going to go back one so we're diagonal from this block here place a oak log facing upwards then three stone bricks an oak log three stone bricks an oak log three stone bricks an oak log then we're going to go one two three four five stone bricks and an oak log on the end okay so we should have an oak log Five, oak log three, oak log three, oak log three, oak log. Okay? And just make sure you know if notice that the front here is diagonally across. Okay? So from this block here, we're diagonally, so we're sitting one in front. Now, back down to the end of the build, guys, we're going to just come across the front, uh, the back of the build by seven, like this, and then place our oak log on the corner. And we're just going to repeat that same pattern all the way down. Okay? So five, one log, three, one log, three, one log, three, and one log. Now, on the right hand side here, we're going to come so one block behind the log and then go on to the second one, place a block at each side like this. Diagonally forward, you want three stone bricks like this. And then from the top one there, you want to place one diagonally over at the top. And then one on the opposite side of the wall like this. And then diagonally down and then three here. So you should have a kind of circular-ish shape 
here. Now onto the left hand side of the build, right at the front here where this very first log is, we're going to go to the second log, leave a two block gap to the left and place one on the third. Behind this we're going to leave a three block gap, place a log, a three block gap and place a log. And these logs should line up with the logs on this side here, okay? Now down to the back of the build, we're going to go ahead and from the from the left hand corner, so if I face towards the back, we've got this left hand corner here, go one, two blocks across, then leave a one block gap in front and place a log here, leave a three block gap and place one here. Now let's start guys by coming over to where this circle bit is and just breaking this out for the minute. So the three in the center, we don't need those. Now we want to raise all of the rest of the logs that are here by three more blocks, making them four in total. So one, two, three on top, and then we're going to do that all the way around. Okay, once you're done, let's head over to the front here and we're going to place an extra log on top of these two front pillars and then we're just going to join them together like this. We're going to do exactly the same at the back. So again, on the very back where the wall is, place one here, one here and we just want to join these two together like this. Then on the right hand side here, we're just going to run a pillar all the way down and join it all the way to the front. And then on the left hand side here as well, we're going to do exactly the same thing, join it all the way to the back. So we should have a big rectangle like this. Now on the left hand side here, we're going to come around to where these pillars are, go one block above and place one, two, three uh, oak logs across like this. Do it on top of this pillar as well and above this pillar here. Round the back here, we're going to go one and two like this, one and two like this. And I think we could probably get away with extending it by one more actually. Let's do that. Perfect. Right, okay, that's looking pretty good. Now, we're going to go ahead and make this a little bit higher. So on the very front here, we've got one, two, three, four, five. We want to make it up to nine. So that's six, seven, eight, nine, which is four more on top. Do the same on this corner here. Then we're going to head directly down to the back le left hand corner. Place four here and four on here. Perfect. Okay guys, we're going to come back to the front of the build now. And what we're going to do is right where the doorway is here, we're going to place one, two like this on this side and two on this side. And then just break those ones behind them like this, okay? Then we're going to raise these until they're three high. So place two more on top of all of them. Just like this. We're going to place an upside down stair in the center in that gap. One on top of it and then one at each side like this. Then you want to get your spruce slab. And where we have this side here on the oak log, on the next block on the bottom half, you want to place a slab there. Place one here temporarily and put one in front of it. We're going to break that one. Let's do the same here, one there, one in front and break it. Then we're going to place one here, one on the opposite side, place one in the centre and then one in front, break the one behind. Then we're going to go one here, one in front, break the one behind. Actually we can keep that there a sec, place one at the side and then one here, one here, break that one there. Now we're going to place a full block here. A full block here, one here, and one here, okay? Then we're going to place a slab there and a slab there. One slab here, here. Then we're going to go full block behind this middle one. A slab here, a slab here. Then we're going to place one slab there and we can bring it up one more if we wanted to like that. And I think that is looking pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to place a block there, bring it down by one and then break that one behind. Then place one here, bring one round and break the corner one. Let's do the same over here. One here, one in front, break that one. One in front, one to the side, break that one. It's looking good. Now we're literally going to go and place one here. Then we want to place one on here, bring it down. 
break that top one. No, one there, bring it out, break the back one. Place one back in there again. Then we're gonna place one here, one there. Break that one underneath. And then we're gonna place one here, one in front. Break the one behind, put the slab back. And then finally, one here, one here, and break that one underneath. Perfect. Right, let's quickly just grab ourselves some cobblestone wall and some uh, spruce fence. We're going to place the wall on this one and this one. So one block away from the door, here and here. Same on this side, here and here. And then just place two fences here, two fences here, two fences here, and two fences here. And there we go, there's our little entranceway. Now if you want to, you can get rid of that slab on the top there just to kind of smooth that out a little bit. I think it looks a little bit too pointy when you leave it on there. So I think it actually looks better like that. Now what we're going to actually do here guys, at the very front, we're going to get ourselves our oak log and we're going to put the pillar one block lower. Okay, only on the front here. And then we're going to just break the rest of this across like that. Then we're going to grab our stripped oak wood. And we're just going to go from the front here, go all the way across like this, and then just raise it until it's the same height as the pillar on the corners, okay? Do it all the way across. Okay, right. Now, before we move on with the rest of the walls, let's mark out the tower. So, first of all, Let's go ahead and we'll make a little doorway here. So let's go one, two, like this, one, two, one across the top, break that bottom one down there. And then we're gonna go ahead and raise these three up by two, these three up by two, and then these three up by two. Now I'm gonna start from this corner here. It doesn't matter where you start. And we've got three there already. So we're gonna go four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Okay? And now we wanna raise all of the rest of these ones here on this circle to the same height, okay? So let's just do this, bring it all the way up until it's level with the top pillar. When you get back down here, guys, just bring three underneath like this, place one at each side like that, then three across the top, and then continue raising it up. And you can do exactly the same down here as well, okay? So just continue doing that and raising it up until we join up with the rest of the pillars. Okay, once you're done, you should have something that looks a bit like this. Now, on the lower part down here, guys, we're going to go and fill this gap in with three blocks here. Also, this gap here. Fill that in. We're going to fill all of this bit in here, all of the wall. We're going to do the same across here. And we're going to come across the back here. Let's fill this wall in here. Make sure at this point, guys, that you do not fill in the gap between these two at the back. These are just kind of uh, here as a platform for the little balcony that's going to be at the back here. Then we're going to go ahead and fill the, all of this side in as well. Again, just wherever we've got that stone brick, we just want to fill it up until it reaches the logs above. Okay, perfect. Now, before I move on and do anything else, guys, one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go around and I'm just going to texture up some of this because I do not like all of the stone bricks. I think it looks a little bit too new and a little bit too kind of clean. So I'm going to go ahead and just texture it up. So anywhere where I've got the stone bricks, what I'm going to do is texture it with some normal stone and cobblestone. So what I'll probably do is go around, add in some random bits of cobblestone like this in patches. Okay. Just very random, no specific shapes or patterns. 
just very very random okay something like this and then go ahead with the stone and go ahead and just again do the same thing just plop a little bit of stone randomly into the wall and uh, just create a little bit more of a sort of more natural looking texture it looks a little bit more natural and looks less clean okay so I'm gonna just quickly go around and we're gonna do that over the entire build okay Alright guys, once you're done, you should have something that looks a bit like this. And as you can see, it just has a little bit more of a natural look to it. It looks a little bit more rougher and just kind of blends in a little bit nicer, I think. Now, once you've got that done, let's go ahead and just get our oak logs a second. And what we're going to do here is right where we've got these three pillars here, we're going to place one on the main pillar across going across here, okay? So place one on top of these and just raise that until it's four blocks high so that it's in line with the top of this okay so we've got three pillars across this side here now we're going to head around to this side place one pillar on here which is directly above the one below and same here okay perfect now we're going to go ahead and fill the rest of the wall in with some stripped oak wood. Okay, so we're going to go ahead, let's fill this corner in here, bring it up to the top of the pillar. Do the same on this side. And then basically we want to fill all the way around this edge like this. Again, we're going to raise that up all the way in a minute. All the way around this edge. All around this edge in here. This gap, this gap and this gap. Okay, so let's go ahead and get all of that in place. Okay, once that is all in place, guys, let's go around to the left-hand side down here. We're going to get ourselves some spruce planks, some spruce slabs, some spruce stairs, and we're going to start getting in some of the balcony here. So first of all, let's place two planks across here in this gap like this, all the way across, and the same in this gap here, okay? Then place three upside-down stairs in front, just like this. And then on the side here, I think we're going to go one, two, three, like this. And then one on top of this one. Again, three blocks high. One, two, three. Perfect. Now, I think it might look nicer if we do it like that. Leave the logs going up completely on their own. I think it might look a little bit better. So we'll go ahead and try it like that. Round the back here. We're going to place again two all the way across, some upside down stairs through the center, upside down stair here, upside down stair here, and I think in the middle here we're just going to go ahead and put an upside down stair at the back there just for a little bit of added detail. And in fact we could even make that two like that, and then place one at each side. Yeah, it's entirely up to you guys, you don't have to, I think it might actually just look better on its own like that. Right, now on this side again, one, two, and three, one, two, and three, okay? Right, that is the shape of the build looking pretty good now. So let's go ahead and start working on the roof. And the roof is a pretty simple roof, guys. I use this design on most of my roofs. So on the very top edge on this side, we're going to put two stairs like this. Overhang this edge by one, place an upside down one here. Go around to the opposite side of the um, of the tower here. And we're going to run stairs all the way down like this. Again, overhang by one and put an upside down one behind it. On this side here, we're going to bring it round so we can overhang by one. Upside down stair behind it. Then run your normal stairs all the way across like this. And then overhang one on this side and then upside down stair like that. Okay, now for the roof pattern here, guys, it's very simple. Basically, all the way up to the middle, we're just going to go a stair, a block, upside down stair, a normal stair, upside down stair, and then a full block. Stair, upside down stair, full block. Stair, upside down stair, full block. 
and then we're going to put a stair there and I believe that is the middle for the next block so we place an upside down stair facing from the front like this then we're going to do the same on this side so a four block stair upside down stair four, four block stair upside down four block stair upside down full block and then a stair then we're going to put a normal stair facing out on the top upside down stair under uh, behind it and then we're going to grab our stripped oak wood and we're going to fill in behind this so we're going to do seven blocks across here another seven on top then we're going to go in by one on each side making it five and then another layer of five then we're going to do three and three again staying to the middle and then one in the center over to the back here let's repeat exactly the same roof so again we're just going to go a full block at each side then we're going to place a stair at each side upside down stair full block stair upside down stair full block stair upside down and I think you guys have got the hang of the pattern by now then we're going to place an upside down stair in the center a normal stair facing outwards and an upside down stair behind it and again let's go ahead and fill in that wall so we're going to go seven blocks across like this another seven on top five blocks in the center five blocks in the center then three in the center three in the center and then a one in the center and that's looking pretty good now over here for the balcony edge let's have a look here so we've got a we've got one of these we're gonna go one two three yeah we would end up yeah okay so these need to come down by one so break the tops of these like this okay and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna run slabs all the way across until we are one block past that end pillar there then you place one underneath this corner and one in front then one underneath and one in front run that one in front there all the way down until you're one block past the end pillar which is this one here there's one behind it one above and then one underneath that edge there and then finally we can get some four blocks and we can just bring them all the way across like so join it all up and then if we come underneath around the side here if we can get up we can just put some slabs all the way across on the inside like so and then we're just going to go ahead and put two fence on this side. Two fence here. Three in this gap. Three in this gap. And then we're going to go ahead and break a hole there for a window. And then in the center of this bit here, break these two for a door. Okay. I'm going to quickly break this one. And then fly back up, place it back in. Let's break a hole for a window here. And then on this side here, we're going to break these two for a window, leaving a one block gap between them all. Okay, right, back to the front of the build again now. So for this part, guys, we're going to start by, we got a full block here. So go up by one block, right in the middle, break one and two, and then break the two to this side and two to this side. Okay, so we've got something like that. Get your spruce slabs. Place three across like this and three across like this. So the top half is on the bottom block, bottom of the block. The bottom part is on the top half of the block. Then we're going to go and we're going to place in a... Let's work this out. We're going to go two window on here. So let's see. Let's place an upside down stair here. Which is in line, well, I tell you what, we count it down. So from the very top here, one, two, three blocks. On the fourth one down, place an upside down stair. Place one stair to the side. One stair on this side. And then we're going to place a slab in the center at the top. In the middle below, break two blocks like this. 
Then where we've got our stair there, we're going to come down, place an upside down stair on this side, leaving that two block gap. And the same on this side, facing inwards like that. Then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just grab a dirt block. And we're also going to grab ourselves some spruce trapdoors. And we're going to place a dirt block there and a spruce trapdoor on the front. Okay. Then we're just going to get our spruce fence, place two here and two here. And I think that is pretty good. Let's get our trapdoors again. We're going to place two this side here to look like a little bit of a shutter. And also on this side here. Then we're just going to simply go ahead and get ourselves some white stained glass panes. And put three across here and three across there. Very nice. And then of course the window up here. Let's place two glass panes in there. And I think that is looking rather nice. Right, okay, so we've got all of that side in. Let's go ahead and place our windows down the side here. So place some windows in here, one in there, and then two in these end ones in here. Now around the back here, right in the center where we've got our floor now, let's break those two there for a doorway. We're going to get some slabs and place one on the side on the top half of this log and then join it to the wall like this. Then bring it out by one. Do the same here, one, two, three, and then bring it out by one. Then we're going to place one there, one there, one on top of those ones, one in, one on top of those ones, one in the center of the top, and one on top of that. And then all we're going to simply do is connect it to the wall like this. Perfect. Then we're going to place our fence across the side here, two in this bit and two in this bit. Then all we're going to do is make ourselves another window at the top here. So leave a one, two, three block gap, place an upside down stair on the fourth one, one up, one normal one this side, one that side, two fence here, two fence here, break these two. Then we're going to place an upside down stair here, but facing sideways like that. An upside down stair here. Let's break that slab there for the minute and we'll place one just below it. And hmm, in fact, we can't really do what we want to do here. So we could actually just leave that slab where it was and just put one on top there for a little window ledge. And I think that works out perfect. Let's put our slab at the very top. And that looks pretty good, guys. I think that is pretty much done. Let's go ahead and get the window in. And then all we've got to do is put our door on that side, and that should be good. Down this side here, we're going to break ourselves a window, a window, and a window in the center. So one block gap between all of these, and then one in the middle here. This one here, let's just put a couple of trap doors at each side, our glass in the center. And then these two just like that. Then we're just going to put a slab outside of these. Around this side here, we're going to put a slab and a slab. This one on the inside here, let's go ahead and just put a couple of trapdoors. And then we're going to put a slab here like that. And I think that will do for all of the windows now. I think that is everything there. The only other thing is if you want to put in some windows down the bottom here, so you could go ahead and put in some too high windows down here. And then just fill them in like this. Now again, down here, windows are optional for where you want them. I'm going to place one, some in there. I think I'm going to place one window over here. Then I'm going to leave the bottom at the back here. And down the side, I'm going to leave that bit there. I think I'll place one window in here. And I think that will do for the windows on the lower floor. And I think that's looking pretty good. Now, before we move on to the roof and finish up there, guys, we're going to go to the inside here. And what we're going to do on the inside, we're going to break this edge here, place some flooring of your choice. Now, I'm going to use the spruce planks, but you guys can use any planks of your choice. 
So go ahead, dig all of this grass out here and then just replace it with the flooring of your choice. And you also want to break the bit of grass on the inside of this as well. And you probably want to break those blocks out if they're colored like this as well and replace those with some spruce planks or any flooring of your choice. It doesn't matter which color you go with. Okay, once you're done and you've got all of your flooring in place down here, you want to grab yourself a couple of doors. I'm going to go with the dark oak doors, but you can use any doors of your choice. It really doesn't matter. Let's place one on the front here. Uh, for now, we can place one on this little tower here. Actually, do you know what? I don't think we're going to need one there because I think we're going to actually end up breaking some of these out like this so we have easier access to this point. So yeah, break a 3x3 three three area on that front on that front piece of the here this is gonna we're gonna create like a maybe a little stairwell that goes up to the top of the tower then what we're gonna do now guys is at the back here where we've got this door place a door in here and a door on the side here then get your planks again for your flooring whatever you use for your flooring down here and at this level where this beam runs all the way across the edge here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna fill in a flooring okay so go ahead and do that with whatever flooring you want Okay, once you're done, that is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead on this first floor here and let's break a little doorway out about here, okay? We're gonna replace this one here with some with some uh, some planks of your choice, whatever flooring you've laid down. Break these three logs in here for the moment and then just replace these two in the walls here just to make it all look the same. Now, I'm gonna come inside this tower here and what we're gonna do, right level with this floor here we're just going to place three planks like this okay then we're going to just grab ourselves some of the um logs like this and in this tower here as you can see we've got a three by three gap in the center in the center here place a log here and run it all the way up to the top like so just for the moment then we're going to go back down to that first floor so now what we want to do is we want to make sure that from here we can get down to the next floor comfortably. So the idea is let's use our slabs. So we'll come down this way, I think, and around. So it looks a little bit confusing. So when we come in, we're going to come up here, put a slab one bit lower than that one. Then we're going to go down one again, one again, one again. And we're just going to basically keep going around, coming down by one each time. And then we're going to get to here and we're going to come down into it like this. And what we do is we break one, two, three there. And any one of these here that are stone, replace it with some of your flooring like that. And I think that'd be good. So now we can actually go up and around to the next floor. Now, just to make this a little bit neater and cleaner on the bottom here, let's go ahead and place in some logs like this, just to cover that little area there. And you can also go ahead and do it here. But if you do it there, you might want to put a torch behind it if you're playing in survival to make sure no mobs spawn in that little corner. Now, I'm going to grab my stone bricks here, and I'm just going to place two like this, and I'm going to bring them all the way to the ceiling like that. And I think that just gives us a little bit of a neater entrance in. We can place an extra slab there. A little neater walkway into this little tower here. Alright guys, so we're going to have to do something a little bit different to get to the tower at the top. What we're going to do is this. So first of all, let's just start going up a half a block at a time all the way around now. On the opposite side from where we went down. This way goes down. So we want to go on the opposite side and we want to go up this time, okay? So just keep going around and going up until you get closer to the top. OK, 
Okay guys, right, we're near the top now. So from the top here, as you can see, the centerpiece here is level. Let's go one, two, three, four, five blocks down, okay? Now, at this point here, guys, what I'm gonna do is because we've got enough room to go around and get underneath. Can we get one more slab there? Yeah, we can. So once you once you come down to your fifth block, make sure you bring one more slab over, okay? The very top bit here, I'm gonna just replace that with a plank block like that. Actually, no, we won't. What we'll do is we'll bring it up. Hmm. So let me just think for a second, guys, because we wanna create a little room up. I said go five blocks, make it six, seven blocks down, okay? So go back down, break it until you're level with the seventh block, then place a slab. We'll get past that one. Just about. Okay, so we can just about get past that one. Now, what we're going to do... So, we're seven blocks down at the moment. What we're going to do here is get out spruce planks or even some stone bricks. Place one here and one here. And just double check, first of all, that you can get underneath it, which we can. Okay? And then, we're going to go one, two... And I guess now we're going to go some planks. So bring planks across here, here, all the way around, except for this very end corner. Okay. And we're going to put a trap door up there. And then grab yourself some ladders. Place one, two ladders here. Trap door open. And boom, we can get up to this little area here. Now it's very small. It is very, very small. But at least we can get up here and we can make some windows here. So let's break a two block window like this. Um, a two block window like this. This. And this. Okay. And now we've got our way up to the tower. And we can you can put anything up here if you wanted or nothing. You haven't got to use it. It's just a little idea. And you're probably on your way down here, guys, because it's pretty dark. You want to either use some torches or some lanterns. Uh, just to light it up because it's going to be pretty dark otherwise. There we go. All the way down to the ground. Right. Okay. So now we've got that tower all worked out and we can get in and out and everything like that. Let's go back to the outside again. And we're going to just add in some detail now. So first of all, let's go ahead and finish up on the roof. Okay. So here we're going to get our planks. And start with your spruce planks. We're going to bring it all the way across like this. Now, at this point, guys, you could put a different middle to the roof. Just have an edge. There's this, the, the spruce. You could change the middle if you want to. But I'm going to just stick with the spruce for this one because I think it just fits in really nice with this build. And I'm going to just stretch all of the, air, the blocks where we have the planks. I'm going to stretch it from one side to the next, okay? So one side all the way across and join up to this side. Okay, now on the opposite side of the build, we kind of do the same thing, but we're just going to skip that where that was. So we place two here, two here, then this one here can come across and go into there. And then once we get to this one, we can come all the way across. Join up to there, we go down to this block here, and this one again is going to just join up into here. Then we bring down to the next one, and we're going to just bring it all the way across. And join to that one and then this one all the way across and join it on to this one okay so we're just joining the planks to the planks on the opposite side and then once you're done just go ahead and place your spruce stairs on top like this in the center here be sure to go ahead and place your planks all the way across Join up to here. Make sure you get all of your plank areas done before you go ahead and put in your stairs. It will make it a little bit easier. And then we're going to go for the rest of our stairs. Alright guys, once you're done... It's entirely up to you what you do with the very top part of the roof here. You can put in a slab all the way across like this. 
or what you could do is find a center point or any point that you want and uh, let's see center point I think is this one here then we're gonna place some stairs coming backwards so one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight nine I was one off and in the middle place a full block and you can have a roof like that it's entirely how you do it you could do it with the slabs or with the stairs it's entirely up to you whatever you guys prefer right okay that is most of the build all in place now oops we did miss a couple of stairs around here be sure to go over your roof and double check guys because it is very easy to miss any of your stairs or blocks like that okay guys once you're done it's time to just finish up on the tower here so what i'm going to quickly do first of all is where we have our windows we're going to break one here and put an, a normal stair one above and put an upside down stair okay i'm going to do that on all four sides now what i'm going to do is i'm going to quickly do it with these stone bricks first of all and then i'm going to add in a couple of cobblestone just to add in a little bit of a variation in the textures okay so we've done that all the way around then I'm just going to randomly place in some of the cobblestone ones. Something like that. And one up there. Just so we get a little bit of a variation for the texture there. I just think it looks a little bit nicer. Then at the very top guys on each side I'm going to place two upside down stairs like this. Again I'm going to do this all the way around. And then I will quickly just change a couple of them to make a variation. So we've done it all the way around now. Then I'm going to change one there, one there maybe, maybe one here, and I think that'll probably do. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to place a slab in the corners like this. Okay, all the way around. And then one in the center of these gaps as well like this. Okay, and again guys, I'm just going to change a couple of those slabs for the cobblestone ones. Just again so we get that little bit of variation in some of the textures. I think that will be good. Now on the top where we have the upside uh, upside down stairs, sorry, get my words out. Just place a stone brick slab on top like this on both sides. Do that on all four sides. And then once you're done, again guys, just go ahead and change a few of them just so we get a little bit of a variation in the textures. Something like that. Right, okay, time for the roof. So first of all, let's get our cobblestone walls. We're going to place one in the gap, one on the corner. One in the gap, one in the corner. Gap, corner, gap, corner. Nice and easy. Then we're going to place a row of uh, planks here. Another row of planks all the way around. So basically, we've got a three and then three, then three, then three, leaving us a three by three gap in the center. On the middle ones, just place one block like this. This is our spruce planks, by the way. And then we're going to go ahead and place a stair on each side of that plank and then one facing inwards. Do that on all four sides, okay? So stair each side, one facing in. Stair, stair, and a stair. Just like that. In the corners where the stair is, place a plank against them like this. Now again guys, we don't want too much of a peak on this roof. I only want this one to be fairly small. So we're going to go one, oops, one, two on top of these planks, okay? One, two, one, two, one, two. Place one in the centers like this. Then place one on top of those. Let's place one in the middle for a second. And what we do, if we look from the front of the build here, we're going to come around to the right hand side of the build. Place two stairs here, head to the left hand side, two stairs here. So from the front, you see the little curve. Now, I think we're going to go one, two, three, four like this, and then one in the center. In the middle, we go one, two, three, place a stair on all of these ones. And then one, two, and three fences on top of that. Let's come down and have a look. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. 
Now, again, guys, this could always be brought down lower if you if you wanted to have the roof a little bit lower. So you could just go ahead and remove one layer of the planks across the edge here and just bring it down. Uh, but I think that looks I think that looks okay. Um, if you want to, you can even make it taller. It would enti entirely depends on you guys. And then the last thing to do is get yourself some of your glass panes. I'm going with the white stained glass panes and just fill in these windows at the top here. All the way around. Get yourself some upside down stairs and place one here, one here and one here. And then it's up to you where you want to place any other windows, guys. I would go ahead and maybe place in... So where we've got our upside down, our upside down stairs, guys are one below the normal stair there, okay? So the, the one block gap from the bottom of the window. Then I think we're gonna go one, two, three, break the fourth and fifth. And then of course, we're gonna go upside down stair on each side and a normal stair there. Uh, upside down stair there. Let's put two in there. And we can't really fit any more anywhere else. So we're gonna do the same thing. Let's go one, two, three. Break those ones. We're going to replace that one with a stair, that one with a stair, and then we're just going to go one, two. How many gaps? One, two, stair, one, two, stair. Okay, so one there. I accidentally made this window one bigger. So let's do that. And then we can put in a stair there and there. Perfect. And I think that is the build pretty much done, guys. This is really cool. I like the way this one's turned out. For here, if you guys are following along and you have everything else all built and you want to build along with this, I would go ahead and get your cobblestone, bring one over here, then maybe go... Actually, we go one here and then bring a row across here, leave a two-block gap there maybe, and then bring some in like this and actually, do you know what? Let's just bring one to that corner there and one to that corner there. We go up one there, up one there, one at each side of this. And again, guys, here I'm just going to grab a stone brick and we're going to just add in a variation of textures for the wall. Something like that. We'll get some of the stone. Let's place one here. One there, one there. And then I think we're just going to grab some of the iron bars. Let's place two here, two here. And we've got a nice little area over here for a garden. We can go ahead and decorate that up. Add in a few little bushes, maybe a tree. You know, just, just kind of make it look a little bit nice. Round on the right hand side here, we're going to go ahead and from the left, oh, sorry, on the left hand side, on the left hand corner here, we're going to go back by one block. And the one underneath that window, we're going to put a slab in front of it. Diagonally cross, we put a slab. Then we're going to put three slabs in between the gap between the two pillars. Three against that gap. Then we're going to just run these all the way down and connect to the corner. And in fact, we're going to just go two on that corner like that and then just make it like that. So we get a slight little curve at the end. We could even make it free like that. Maybe something even in. Just to, It's just basically trying to create a little bit of shape in there. So something like that. And that basically gives us a nice little flower pot area to go ahead and decorate. I'm going to get myself some acacia leaves. And in here, we're going to run some down the back. Leave a few gaps coming forward now and again like this. Just a bit random. Something like that. I think that looks pretty good. Again, underneath here as well. Just go ahead. Just fill in a few of them. You can run them up the wall and round the corners if you want. Something like that. I'm not going to go too crazy with the detail here, guys. Then go ahead, get yourself some lanterns as well. You're going to want to make you're going to want to make sure you've got some lanterns. Place one underneath here to keep it lit up. I like to also place one on the corners like this. Same on the front. I like to place one on each of these corners here. And then underneath this little shaded area here, let's place one under there. You might... Oh no, that's perfect, yep. And then I think that's about it. Underneath the edge here, you might want to get in a... 
it's not there. If you come up underneath your edge here, on the back edge, you probably want to get in one. So ideally, you want it right in the middle, about here. So it's right in the middle of that gap. And the same for this one here. Set, you want to make sure you attach it probably to the ceiling. The reason that attached to the wall like that, guys, is because this is Germany Boys Texture Pack, and this is actually the end rod. Um, you can go ahead and use the lanterns. I just I've just done it just because I like the design and I switch it up between the two when I'm building sometimes. Um, but you can still get your lanterns in there. I'll just go and show you. You can get your lanterns up there like that. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one and I'm gonna attach it to the ceiling. There we go. Perfect. Okay, once you've done that, guys, it's just literally a last little bit of decorating and then you're done. So just a couple of the tall grass around or something like this. Again, just being scattering with it, really. Nothing too crazy. Get yourself some tall flowers. So let's just get a few flowers here. Let's get some alliums, blue orchids, some white tulips, some of those. Let's go ahead and get some tall plants as well. We'll get the peony and maybe those. So let's go ahead. We can throw in a couple of lilacs, something like that, some peonies. Again, you don't need to go too crazy here. And then bun a bunch of little flowers in between the gaps. Adding in a variety of color always makes it look really nice. Something like that, and I think that looks pretty cool. And of course, guys, don't forget that you can get yourself some flower pots, and on any of your window ledges, you can go ahead and put in a flower. You know, put plenty of them about because the flowers do add a nice bit of color. Something like that. Go around and do it on all your windows. Even this one up here. We can put one in there. And don't forget at the very front of the build. We've got our little flower pot here. You can go ahead and put a flower in there. And then maybe a flower pot on the side here as well. There we go. And there we go guys. That is the build all done. Again if you want to like I've done with many of my other builds. You might want to make a little vine coming up with your leaves. Just randomly, something like this maybe. Bring it up and you can even bring it onto the roof if you wanted to make a little bit of a uh, kind of uh, dangling leaves, something like this. You know, go ahead and mess around with it and make it your own guys. But I think that is just about it for this build. Um, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and add a chimney on this as well. I'm going to leave the chimney for the moment because I don't I don't think it really needs it. But a chimney would be really simple. You just find a spot, go ahead and place in a pile of either stone bricks or some cobblestone. Place your campfire on top and then surround the campfire with some trapdoors just like this. And there you go, you've got yourself a nice little chimney. But guys, I think that is just about it for this build. I think this one is pretty cool. It's certainly a different build to the usual ones we've built, but I really like the way this one has turned out. I love the shape of it. It's very different, and I think this is quite a good location for it as well, overlooking the sea. And just before we do finish up, guys, just one thing I just spotted before we go. If you want to, go ahead and put some buttons on top of these. These are the spruce buttons. Place them just on front of your logs. You don't really need to place them down on this side because we got them going all the way up, but it's optional if you want to. Alright guys, and that just about brings us to the end of the tutorial. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nerd signing out. And I will catch you guys in the next one.